Am I the jerk for sending our wedding band home mid-party when I found out my ex is one of the members? Got married yesterday. When we arrived at the reception venue, everything was already in place. It was not until we were called up for a first dance that I recognized a singer from the band to be my ex-girlfriend from high school. We haven't talked in over 15 years. My wife doesn't know much about my exes. We just never talked about past relationships further than I've had three exes. During the dance, I couldn't help but only focus on the fact that she is up there on the stage. I know my wife was the one in charge for the music for the day. She never told me what she booked, nor ever asked about what it is. I asked her about what made her choose that band. She said she went through an entertainment agency, saw the ex's portfolio, which was good and within budget and booked. I told her the singer is my ex from high school and that I'm not comfortable with her performing. She said that it's an odd coincidence and told me, why is this an issue? It happened so long ago. I told her, yes, but I'm weirded out by it. My wife then said it's just music and not to make that much of a big deal since the band is doing a good job. I told her I want to talk with the band. My ex recognized me and she was being very professional about it. She says she doesn't know it's going to be my wedding and only knew when she got into the venue for prep and saw some other mutual friends. I told her to finish up in the next 30 minutes and to leave. She looks shocked and so does her band members. I reassured them it's not because of their performance. One of the band members even said, even though they were being asked to leave early, since they already rocked up and this is a change of mind on the day, there will be no refunds. I told them I won't be pursuing a refund. Told my wife that the band is leaving and she was livid. Kept asking me why it's such a big deal because of an ex and asked me if I still had feelings for her. I said no, that's absurd, but I felt uncomfortable that I was reminded of my past relationship at the worst possible time. She told me I'm wasting her money. I told her we could get another DJ that we could get on the spot with the help of the venue in which I will fully pay for. She told me that's just another waste of money because my feelings are too fragile and that I can't see the bigger picture. After the band left, I went straight to the venue manager to sort things out. Long story short, stuff got sorted out. DJ did a good job, the guests seemed to have a good time and didn't notice it, but my wife was not enjoying it at all. After everything was over, she went straight to bed at the hotel. I don't know how you all feel about this one, but I think he's definitely the jerk in this situation. He's acting like a bad bank. Insecure. Am I the jerk for not wanting to pay child support after my wife cheated on me with my older brother? I never thought my life would end up like this, but here we are. I've been married to my wife for five years. After we tied the knot, I didn't really keep in touch with my family much. It wasn't intentional, we just drifted apart. My wife and I were focused on building our own lives, and that's what mattered to me. A few months ago, my world came crashing down. I found out my wife had been having an affair with my older brother. The betrayal was like a punch to the gut. I didn't even know how to process it. Everything I thought was solid in my life suddenly shattered. But it got worse. When I told my mom what happened, she didn't react the way that I expected. Instead of supporting me, she took my brother's side. She actually told me to get over it and said that this is just how life is sometimes. Hearing that from my own mother was like salt in the wound. Since then, I've cut contact with my brother and haven't spoken to my mom much since either. Now my wife, or soon to be ex-wife, has come to me with another bombshell. She's pregnant and says that the baby is mine. Here's the thing, I can't even be sure. We were still being intimate even as things started falling apart between us so it's possible. But after everything she's done, I don't know what to believe anymore. She's already talking about how I'll need to pay child support, saying that I have no choice if the baby is mine. I'm not stupid, I know what my legal responsibilities are, but I can't bring myself to just accept this without knowing for sure. I want a paternity test before I commit to anything. But even if the baby is mine, part of me feels like it's so unfair that I'm stuck supporting someone who betrayed me in the worst possible way. My mom says I need to be a man and just move on. But I'm really struggling with this. How can I be expected to just accept all this like it's no big deal? So am I the jerk for wanting to confirm that the baby is actually mine before agreeing to pay child support? And even if it is mine, would I be wrong for feeling like I shouldn't have to be tied to her forever after what she did? Am I the jerk for banning my daughter's boyfriend from coming to my house? I'm 50 male, my daughter is 18 female, has been seeing this guy 26 male for 5 months now. I didn't like him from the start because of the age difference. He's very rude and arrogant. I can't physically do anything to him because he's a big guy, but he has been very disrespectful in my household. He comes whenever he wants, without acknowledging me, and his activities with my daughter can be loud sometimes and the walls in my house are thin. I told my daughter about it, 
but he's still coming over to my house. So last week I told my daughter he's not allowed in my house anymore. He was very upset, but I don't care. However, she's now going to his place and comes home late. Did I do the right thing? Thank you so much for tuning into the video. If you enjoyed it, check out the social media down below in the description. Follow, subscribe, all that stuff. And let me know in the comments what you thought about the video. It's my first time making something like this. Let me know what kind of games you'd like me to play and what kind of stories you'd like me to talk about. So yeah, this is Gamera signing off. Stay lovely, stay safe. Peace.